All right, I'm gonna do a video on on how I burn axe handles. I get lately a lot of people have been asking me uh, how I my process of burning a handle. So um, I'm gonna take you through the process of how I do it, what I use, and and uh, and all that. So I got this. This is a a 30C handle from Whiskey River Hickory. And I got it all fitted up for uh, for this head. I'm hanging a, it's a Elwell four and a half Tasmanian, uh, made in England. So I got it all fitted up. And uh, so basically that's the process I start with. I, I get the ax head fitted and then I take a palm sander and I think this is, uh, this is 80 grit and I'll sand it all down with 80 grit. Uh, that's kind of a rough sand, you know, like you can feel it's still kind of, um, kind of rough. And I noticed, uh, hickory burns better when it's like that. So, um, so I got it all, all sanded down. Uh, I didn't sand this part because I'm going to end up cutting that off after I'm going to use this to hang the ax because it's nice and flat and then after the heads on there I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this piece off so there's no point in sanding right here so uh, let me get all set up let me get the torch and everything all set up and then I'll turn the camera back on all right um, so this is the torch I use it's it's like one of these big torches I like using the big torch because it it puts off a big flame um, and I'll show you why here in a second so uh, the first the first thing I do when I'm burning an axe um, I I burn my uh, my stamp on there first this is my stamp so I'll heat this up and then I'll stamp it and then I sand that spot again and get all the burn marks off around it so the stamp looks real nice and then I burn the whole handle. So I'll show you this first um, and, then, and then I'll get into the burning the whole handle part. got the my uh, initials on there now I'm gonna burn the whole handle and uh, the reason I use this big torch is because the flame is bigger and it covers more space at once and I'll, I'll do long strokes the whole uh, length of the axe and I'll kind of start at this angle to get the underneath side and then I'll do the top and then I come do the back side and then I flip it over and do the same thing so I'll show you guys that real quick
All right, so that's this is what it's looking like right after it's burnt. There's a couple of spots that are a little bit darker. Um, right there is a little bit darker. And the reason I use the big flame is because it, it covers more area and it does a more, um, it, it burns it more equally the whole way. Um, when I first started doing it, I had like these little torches and I was trying to like burn it and you'd get little hot spots and it'd be all patchy and it would look like crap. So bigger flame, long strokes all the way around. And then, uh, so after I burn it, you can kind of feel like how some of the wood is kind of raised up and it's not, um, it's not, this is not the finished product yet. I'll, I'll take, uh, this is 600 grit and I just wipe it down with 600 grit. And if there's some dark spots, I kind of hit the dark spots a little bit more. But basically what I'm doing is I'm knocking down all those um, little wood fibers that I got raised up from burning it. And I kind of make it like comfortable to the hand, you know. So I'll sand a little bit and then I'll kind of feel it. I can feel the spots that need more, you know. Right here it needs a little bit more. If you, if I put this on the palm sander and sand it, it gets it too smooth and the axle starts sliding out of your hand when you're using it. So that's feeling pretty good. And the whole reason I burn, I burn them is the main reason is it makes it look really nice. It gets the grain to pop, you know, and you'll really notice that after I put oil on it. Um, and I feel like it, it hardens up the wood, dries it out and hardens it up a little bit. Uh, if you get some fresh hickory that still has moisture in it, and then you hang an ax, uh, that wood's going to dry out and it's going to shrink and then your head's going to be loose. So I feel like the burning process probably gets a little bit more moisture out, gets a little bit drier and uh, it looks awesome. So that's how I burn handles. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to do one more shot of a close up where it's done. This is what the handle is looking like, all burnt with oil on it. So you can see how much better it makes it look. Or it, personal preference, I guess. I think it looks better. Kind of has a vintage look to it. Check out this wedge though. Black locust wedge. So this is four and a half pound elbow. This thing's for sale. Hit me up if you're interested.